guys, it's Mia, and welcome back to my channel called Mia Sketchbook. For those of you who are new, I started the Evolve oil painting program last December. As of today, I completed block 3 of the program, and I will start block 4 very, very soon. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my experience with block 3, and I also have some random videos and photos to show you guys what I've been doing. There's a lot of things I want to talk about, but since block 3 is mainly about color mixing, I'll start with that first. Before starting block 3, I'd say I was okay with color mixing. I wasn't awesome at it, but I knew I could do better. And when I got my new tubes of paint, I started making a color chart because I wanted to see what the colors looked like when I mixed them together. However, I never finished making the color chart. In one of Kevin Murphy's live streams, he mentioned a book called Blue and Yellow Don't Make Green by Michael Wilcox. I thought the title sounded crazy because, duh, blue and yellow do make green. But I got the book, read it, and then I realized why blue and yellow really don't make green. I really recommend this book. I don't see the color well the same way I did before. I see it in a whole new different way. And after learning why blue and yellow don't make green, I decided that making the color chart wouldn't benefit me at all. I used what I learned from that book to mix my colors, so I learned by doing instead of looking at a chart. For my assignments, my colors were usually right on the mark, and other times they were off. And sometimes seeing a color on the gray palette and then seeing that same exact color on a white canvas but looking completely different definitely made me more aware of how light, dark, or saturated my colors should be. My color mixing skills are better than what they were before and I actually feel more confident in my abilities. I still have room for improvement so I will continue to practice. Let's move on to proportional drawing. Proportional drawing was something I struggled with and dreaded doing in block 2. It really slowed down my progress. For block 3, I refused to go through that same experience again. I just wasn't going to have it. So I did my proportional drawings, but I also kept the object simple, and I did a lot of freehand drawing. My drawings weren't perfect, some things were a little off, but being able to measure out the boxes certainly helped keep things in proportion, more or less. Now, let's move on to the assignments. There are a total of 20 assignments. 10 are based from photographs, and the other 10 are from proportional drawings. What's interesting about Block 2 was that I was painting realistic 3D images. But for the beginning of Block 3, the images I started out painting were flat, two-dimensional and kind of cartoonish looking. It was like going from one extreme to another, but I actually liked painting this way because it kind of looked like modern art. Um, the flat 2D style was a new way of painting for me, and I was like, wow, this is cool. But there's a reason why Block 3 starts out with these flat 2D images. Have you heard the phrase, trust the process? In block 3, you definitely have to trust the process because it is an actual process. Each skill learned in block 3 built right on top of the other one. So in the beginning, yeah, the paintings look cartoonish, but towards the end, everything starts to look realistic. It happens gradually. My aha moment came towards the middle of block 3. I was like, aha, I get it now. I understand. Something in my head clicked, and I figured since I knew what to do now, I should test the waters and see what I could do on my own. So I did a small 4x6 oil painting of the ocean, and I shared it on my Instagram page. I also posted a pre-evolved acrylic painting I did of the ocean about a year ago. The oil painting I did wasn't perfect. However, compared to the acrylic painting I did, the difference was very significant, and I could definitely see how much my skills improved. Despite how excited I was, I told myself to stay calm and focus on completing Block 3. 
As I said, I was still in the middle of block three, and there were still other things I hadn't learned yet. I didn't want to jump the gun and miss out on anything, so I decided to focus on finishing block three, and then I could do my own thing later. I still have certain areas I have to work on, but overall, my experience with block three was a very good one, much better than block two. My favorite paintings from block three are the turquoise mushroom, the angry bird, the twinkies, the teddy bear, the blue bowling pin, and the fox. But yeah, I'm really excited about starting block four because I can implement everything I've learned and create professional paintings. At the same time, I'm also nervous because those block four paintings are very complex. I'll just have to wait and see what happens. Other than that, I'm really excited about the progress I'm making and I'm excited about the future because I'll finally be able to create the paintings I've always dreamed about. That's the end of my video update. Which of my Block 3 paintings do you like? If you're an Evolve student, what do you think of Block 3? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my playlist. Also check out my Instagram page at miasketchbook.eo to see all my artwork. See you in the next update. Bye.